My name is Brian Gauthier. I am a research geologist with the Arizona Geological Survey. We are located at a relatively young fault called the Little Chino Fault. And we are in central Arizona, approximately 30 miles north of the town of Prescott. Well, the Little Chino Fault allows us uh, a great opportunity in cross-section in this road cut to study a very young fault. And that's important because that allows us to answer a lot of unknown questions about faults in Arizona in general. We know that there are active faults in Arizona, but we don't know how often they occur and what kind of risk that they pose throughout the state. And so this is a really good example uh, that will allow us to help answer those questions. The Little Chino Fault Zone is an active fault zone that offers a really good opportunity to study features associated with an active fault. So here at this really good exposure of the Little Chino Fault Zone, we'll look at some of the properties associated with it, like a good example of a fault, modern soils and buried soils that are both faulted and offset by faults in the fault zone, and properties of the faults themselves, and the interpretations that we can make about those features. We know that the Little Chino Fault Zone is approximately 250 meters wide. In this road cut, there's approximately 80 meters of it are exposed. So we can look at this fault zone where there's probably at least several dozen fault strands exposed in this road cut. And we can study each fault. And each fault tells us that motion has occurred along the fault where one side has been pushed up and the other side has dropped down. And here's a good example of a fault where massive coarse gravel is faulted up against massive silt. And up against it is this broken up material which shows us the exact location of the fault. So here at this same fault is a good example of a soil that is a modern soil. It's probably only a few thousand years old. But you can see that this fault strand goes right up to the base of the soil and there is no break in the soil itself or the surface associated with that soil. In the little Chino Vault Zone, there are also really good examples of buried soils that are offset by one or many of these strands of faults associated with the fault zone. And here's an example of a buried soil the surface of an old soil that was at the surface and is now buried. And here's an example of where the fault has offset this buried soil approximately 30 inches up on the left and down on the right. So this would have produced a moderately large earthquake on the order of about a six to a six and a half. And an earthquake of that magnitude would produce a tremendous amount of seismic energy released throughout the state and definitely within the proximity. Here's another great example in the Little Chino Fault Zone of a fault that has cut a pair of buried paleosols or buried soils. And the offset is a little over a meter. So this would represent a fairly high magnitude event. And what's important about this fault as well is that it comes very close to the surface within just a few inches. So this tells us that we have a very young uh, fault system associated with the Little Chino Fault. Another unique aspect of the faults here is that the angle also tells us a lot of information about the fault and the way it's offset. So here we have a relatively low angle of offset where the two buried soils are cut, whereas in previous pictures, we, most of the faults were almost vertical. So this tells us that this fault system associated with the Little Chino Fault is fairly complex. And in addition to that, we know that there are some aspects of the faults that show where the offset is, is fairly uh, normal and straightforward where the, the slip is in one direction. But this might be an example of where the fault is not only in one direction, but it's actually in two directions that's coming out of the wall or into the wall and down to the left and up on the right. So this just exemplifies how complex the Little Chino Fault System actually is. So what we know about the Little Chino Fault Zone is that it's associated with a larger fault system in the big picture that separates the Granite Creek Mountains behind us against the Chino Valley Basin uh, south of here. And that these two areas are separated by this fault system that is probably at least 10 million years old and it's associated with approximately 1,500 feet of offset. And it's probably at least several tens of miles and tens of kilometers long, but the most active portions of the Little Chino Fault Zone are probably on the order of about 10 to 15 kilometers long or six to 10 miles long. And what we know about that system is that its rupture, the most recent rupture, is probably on the order of about 10 to 15,000 
years ago is the, the most recent event uh, associated with at least one to one and a half meters of offset along one or more strands, which would equate to a fairly large magnitude event. Mm -hmm.